Hello friends, welcome to cloudaxe.com. So today we are going to see that how to implement the SAP attribute or key pair value in our recipe for node. Uh, we will create a generic code, generic recipe code. Uh, it will work for all, uh, all every node machine. So let us start our video. So before starting, uh, this is my website. So you can join my social groups by clicking here so let's start our video this is my linux machine so i open the terminal and i already installed chef workstation if you don't have workstation so please install i already updated my video uh, how to install the chef workstation keep check the playlist and let's check the version Chef 5.1 version. So <clears throat> I have 21.1.247 version. So as you know very well, we have a OHI. OHI have the all current information of my node. Current like I have if I write OHI host name. So it shows my host name that my host name is cloud access if i change the host name if i change the host name to cloud then why as i shared previously that why have the uh, why have con current configuration of my machine so let's check again why host name so it shows the current configuration of my machine so i changed previously So let's write uh, some codes using the chef attributes. So if I check OHI, my machine IP address, so it shows my machine IP address. <coughs> let's write code. So first I need, I already installed chef workstation and I need to create a directory, default directory cookbooks. So this is the default directory cookbooks and I need to go into cookbooks. Let's generate some cookbook command is that chef generate and the cookbook and my cookbook name is uh, I create a cookbook with the name of basic info. <coughs> So my cookbook name is basic info. I entered. So yes, I accept the license. And my chef cook, uh, basic info uh, cookbook is created. There is no file. Let's check once again. CD. There is no such file directory. Let's check again. And there is, uh, let's check with tree command. Tree is not available. So let's check once with three command. So I create cook, uh, basic info cookbook here. So this is the name of my cookbook and uh, let's generate the recipe chef generate. 
let me clear the screen cd my cookbook name basic info and let's generate the recipe chef generate recipe this is the command for generate the recipe and my recipe name is basic i give it to info my recipe name is info so let's enter my gen recipe is created let's check once with tree command so this is my recipe let's write some code again <clears throat> my cookbook name is basic info basic info and recipe is recipe name is info.rb info.rb let's open this code and write some code here this is a bim edit tool we already know about it and let's write code <coughs> i'm going to create a file which all our node information included so i create one file file name i create one file in root folder and uh, basic info name and close this do and again write content content i write content <clears throat> this is this is to get the information about my node so i write content here and host name so now i am using key value now i am using key pair value so host name ratio has and i write code for node <coughs> node and then host name so i set the variable for it again i write one line for to get the current ip address of my machine has i write for the node node and bracket ip address and close this you can copy the code from my link description <coughs> and i write for the cpu utilization has node cpu and in which format zero and in msz now i'm close the code and <clears throat> let's enter owner who is owner of this much of this file 
I set owner root <coughs> group. So uh, when we run this code, so one file is created with the name basic info in root folder. So <coughs> owner of this file is root owner of this file is root and also i set root for group and action action space create so now call my end and i save this <coughs> let's go one step back so let's run this code and first I need to check the code code syntax is fine or not so Let's check the syntax. Clear and now check with chef hyphen Ruby. Execute exec hyphen C and the code path is code path is basic info and recipe in recipe uh, code with info.rb so let's execute so there might be some issue let's check once so i make one mistake here and i need to move execute in the first chef execute ruby So now syntax error unexpected string. Oh, I'm not close this line, so let's repair it. I need to close the proper column I for enter and Now I'm going to save. <coughs> Let's run again. Chef execute Ruby. So now syntax is okay. So let's run the Chef client to get the basic inform information of my machine. So Chef now call to the Chef client. Chef client hyphen ZR. and colon recipe cookbook name is our cookbook name is basic info and double ratio and the recipe name is let's check the recipe name is recipe name is info.rb info.rb <coughs> so let's close the colon and run now our step client is run and command executed so let's check there is some another error so let's try once again first check my code tree so i have info.rb code is exited here and let's clear chef client hyphen zr and 
recipe my cookbook name is basic info and double dx zero and the recipe name is info dot rb and let's close run so i get error let's check once again oh i no need to put the dot rb extension here so let's check once so now our basic info file is created let's check ls ls basic info is created sorry dot dot and go to the root cd and ls so our basic info is created let's cat once again cat basic info so our host name is cloud akshay and ip address is this and let's check once again i am going to add it in my code cd slash root and here is my cookbook basic so let's add it in code vi editor tool basic info and my recipe recipe my recipe name is info.rb so let's add it some CPO load okay and MAC address. I put also the MAC address one more line i for insert and address has node and mac address So oh, I update it automatically. Oh, I pull the current configuration of machine and print in the file. So let's save once again and execute again. Chef client ZR info. So let's check MAC address. You can see MAC address is updated here and also the CPU value, IP address and let's cat once again. CD cat basic info. So here you can see my result. I create a generic code that will run all on my node and it's work on all my node. So thank you for watching this. Keep share and subscribe this channel. So our today video is completed and in upcoming videos uh, we will see the what is run list and how can we run multiple cookbooks and multiple recipes at a time. So let's wait and watch. Let's meet in upcoming video. Thank you.